Hello and welcome students to another episode of History at Home. In today's episode, we are going to discuss some rules for our Google Meetings this school year. So, if you go to our home page on Canvas and you go about halfway down and you look down here in this orange box, you'll see a link that says district-wide norms and protocols for virtual learning. Um, our district has spent a lot of time discussing what is appropriate versus what's inappropriate within our Google Meets this school year. And if you click on that link, you're going to get a whole long list of different items that you are supposed to abide by uh, while you are present within our Google Meets. So it's a very, very long list. And what I want to do with this video is just kind of narrow it down to five ideas for you to focus on while you're in Google Chat. So for rule number one for our Google Meets, what I would like for you to do is think of your rules that you would follow in school because those same rules will apply within our Google Meets. So from that protocols list, it says, I will follow all school rules. The code of conduct is still in effect. I am still in school. How this is going to look in our Google Meet, um, it's going to be focused on our behavior, work ethic, and focus. They should all be the same in our Google Meets as they are in school. Uh, your hood should be down. You shouldn't have them up over your head. And I just want you to consider this, and this is going to be the mantra of our school year together. The standard is the standard. That is my favorite Mike Tomlin quote. He says it consistently, the standard is the standard. What that means is regardless of the circumstances, my standards and our standards should never change. The standard is the standard. Rule number two for you this school year. On our Google Meets, make sure you are on time and prepared for each day. Um, I'll let you read this at your own leisure, but I want to emphasize the importance of coming in on time and this process here, what you should do if you come in late. So make sure you look at our bell schedule and you log in when the period begins. And what I want you to do when you first arrive into our Google Meet, go in the chat and comment with the word here. That way I have a running list of not only who you are, but also what time you arrive in our classroom. So make sure you do that for me when you first log into the Google Meet, enter the word here in chat so that I have that running list for my attendance. Uh, make sure also that you stay for the entire period. Um, we have 45 minutes here at Del Rand, so make sure you're there for the entirety of the period. Do not cut out early. Um, I will be focusing and watching that in chat as well. Uh, make sure you're prepared for class each day too. I mentioned that you should bring with you five supplies to school every single day. If you are a remote learner this school year, you need to have these five supplies with you at the beginning of each class too. You need to have your world history binder, a pen or pencil to write with, color pencils, earbuds or headphones, and also your agenda book. So again, the standard is the standard. As a remote learner, you should have these items with you nearby because we do use them often in class. Rule number three, no phones and limit distractions. Um, the code of conduct says that you should have your phone away and you should not be playing games. Um, you have to make sure that what you're posting in the chat as well is directly related to your schoolwork. So please keep your phones out of sight and out of mind. Close out extra tabs and windows and make sure that you're only using that chat function for questions and answers. Rule number four, camera should be on when you come into class and your mic should be muted. Um, again, this is straight from the code of conduct that you have on uh, the web page and the main page of Canvas. When you enter class, you should have your camera on and you should be within the flip frame. And I will let you know when you can turn that camera off. If you need to leave as well, you need to comment in the chat. Uh, the protocol says that you should say the word burb. Uh, be right back when you are leaving class. Rule number five, please use your headphones. Uh, this is something that I want you to focus on and have with you at all times. It's one of the five items that I have on your list of supplies. I want you to make sure that you're using headphones or earbuds to help you focus and eliminate distractions that may be around you. Uh, make sure you pop them in when we enter the Google Meet. That way you can hear me, um, and that way you are not distracted by those around you. Finally, I'm going to throw in a bonus rule as well. Please keep pace with class if you are a remote learner. Um, I told you all of the action for school this school year will be in this modules button. I have it organized by month and week. So once you click on that and you enter in kind of what we're doing within that school day, I give you a summary of what we're doing. I'm also going to bump this in as well. 
I'll give you a uh, link to the slides presentation that I'm displaying to the rest of the class so that you can follow along if you cannot see my board. Please start utilizing Canvas as a good resource for everything that you need to be successful in class, including this connection to our Google Slides presentations. I will also start adding in for you as well every resource that I'm giving out to students in person, any type of handout, all of that will also be posted on Canvas. I just need you guys to take the extra step and make sure that you are reading everything posted within Canvas and opening all these attachments so that you can be uh, your most successful this school year as we work together. All right, that's all I got for you now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.